Hey, it's James from Phoenix School. Today's video, Brentis Stills, kitchen and store. Look at this beautiful place we're working at. Hey, little farmhouse. Let's get into this. Yeah, it's got little van number one, van number two, so Brian's already down here. I'll pick these lads up, so we're gonna have a look at the job then, and see what we're dealing with. Here's Ellis, there's little Brian hiding away. Let's see if they do any work. How we doing? No work's being done here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come over here. You got loud out. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've had enough fun playing with dogs now, eh? So, yeah, we're into the job then. So, what we've got to do then, um, so there's multiple ovens and hobs and double ovens and single ovens going in. So, what we're going to do is just test all the different circuits and see what we've got to play with. So, obviously, we need to make sure the lighting's on the same circuit. Socket circuit on the same circuit, or if it's split, even better. And then there's two feeds already down there, so we can uh, move them to where we need to. Now right, so it's got a plug-in tester in then. Let's turn off some circuits then. So we've got one's off at the moment. Uh, I don't know why that's something. We haven't, we haven't touched anything. So. You, you haven't touched it. Right, that's that one. That one. No. That one. Yeah, that one. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's circuit seven then. So it's not wires, it's right, circuit seven and then find out what's dead, yeah? Yeah, I'll look cookers next then. Get rid of that. No, not that one. Is that it? So that's uh, circuit two, right two on that. Right, I'll do it lighting now then, so lights are on, yeah? Yeah, lights on, yeah. Right then, so that one. That one. That one. Yeah, that one. That one, right, one, two, three, four. So 12, 12 for that one, yeah. All right, so we've got a socket circuit we've got to play with. We've got two oven circuits and we've got uh, one lighting circuit to play with. So let's have a look, see what we need to be powering up and we'll move bits so everything gets powered up nicely. All right, let's get some tools out then and then we'll, uh, we'll make a little crack on. But look at these little doggies. You're gonna beg again. So lovely. He's got his chew. Come here, monkey. Hiya. Hiya. And there we go, this is the kitchen there that we're going to be working on. Brian's got his little thou shall not pass staff with his uh, laser level on. That's pretty cool, that. Who made that up, Brian? Uh, like O'Neill, VP. There you go. He's got, he's got his own fabricating lackeys, isn't he? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Here's the kitchen then. So we'll, here's a little top down then. So we've got a bank of wall units along that side. A little pantry unit and there's a few appliances. We've got a big island. So we've got some ducks in there. Not quack quacks, but we've got some ducks in there then. So we've got three, well, two 32s. So we're going to bring some power to here. And we're going to extend the hob. So there'll be a six mil run to the middle. And also we've got them, this is your little island elevation. That's going to look sick. And then that's this wall then. So what have we got then? We've got window, coffee machine. She wants some uh, USB double socket here. USB double socket over there. So that'll land here and here on the drawings. And then what have we got? We've got a cooker tap. So like a hot boiling tap. You just double tap and then the hot water comes out. And you've got dishwasher this side then. So that's this wall. What else have we got? That's this side then. So we've got two ovens then going in. So oven one, oven two, and then we've got fridge going in and your little pantry, my little double socket in there, and that's everything really. And as far as the lighting then, so the lighting for this room is in two sections. So you've got a half on one switch, which is two ways to there. There's a switch over there that does then. So what I'll end up doing is bringing all the lights on with one so that they all come over on together. So that should be fun, so I have to find it in and then get a cable from this section and put it into the end of that and they'll, they'll all come on together. That cable coming in, we'll have to extend to a pendant over the island and then we've just got a lot of LED strip going in. So under cabs here, there's some under cabinets here where there'll be LED strip shining down. 
and then the plinth light and then so underneath all this side there'll be light shining out island LED, LED plinth light shining out and this side LED LED strip shining out it's gonna look good Brian isn't it? Yep. Hey hey. Alright then let's crack on then so Brian's just disconnecting this socket high level so this is part of the ring then so what we'll have to do is put a little through box and get that uh, in that zone down there that's going to extend around so we've got a little fridge socket to pick uh, a pantry socket to pick up and the fridge socket at high level and there's loads like disconnections of these so we'll crack on with that first let's get a six mil reel then so that's going to go through this duct in then up to underneath these cabinets then extend on the six mil coming in from this side so we'll do a little joint underneath we're going to feed it through that's it over it no, I'm doing is, is just giving a little bit of pull this end and you're, you're not really pushing it through. If I pull too hard, I'll pull it off and then we're screwed. Right then, we're just getting these cables in then. So if just take that off, so that's nice, neat and sweet, so they're really flat. So he's going to attach that onto his drill wire and then pull that under, underneath the island. So then, so there'll be a power for the island, so that's going to do an extractor socket. So there's going to be a, a hob here and it'll self circulate the extractor there's also going to be a socket for a, an island so on one of the sides she, she, she can pick that later uh, so the ring then it comes in up there down here then so what we've done is extend the ring then so there's going to be a socket high level for the fridge just because it's on the place we can put it then down over to the island up over to this little pantry socket and then out and connect back onto your ring so that's what we're just doing next there we go that's all the power done then so a bit of teamwork, got it all nice and tidy before we do the lighting. But yeah, this is the power supplies into the island then. So we've got the socket ring, which will do the extractor and the island socket. There's Holborn plinth lighting, that goes over to here. So we've still got to get a plinth lighting over to there. And we've got our hob ready. That's been extended up. And that'll get put into the back of the unit then. That'll be a 45 amp switch. There's just two of those to go in. They're both 16 amps, so we're good on that front. What else we got? And then we've just got that leg will get brought up into the back of the unit then. That's a, a leg for the socket in there. And all that got disconnected. And then we've got this wall then. That's out for the cooker tap and dishwasher. And that's about it for our first fix for the socket. Right then, we'll crack on with the lighting after a bit of munch. It's pheasants galore here. It's like a, a hunter's dream. Look at them all. <laughs> right then, we're gonna nip off and out get some, some munch then. Yeah, farm shop somewhere. Let's see what they got. Look at this. So, isn't it? Fancy pants. Uh, Where's this, isn't it? Oh, we sledge, sledge. Oh, past it. Farm shop were back there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> farm shop, here we go. Farm shop. Coach House Cafe. Woohoo! There's all the beauties. Ooh. Oh, that would be beautiful. Absolute beautiful. Jacket Tatey with cheese beans tuna. Mm. Yeah, I don't have, <laughs> like, we waited that long. We finally came and I just demolished it. I forgot to film it, but also got some little pork pies for the, me and our lass. So I'll bring, the, bring those back to her. She'll be uh, get some brownie points. Hey, hey! Yeah, so last week then I was on a passive house course. So basically, passive house is like an airtight house. And every time you put a cable through the wall, you break that air tightness. So it was learning how to seal that up correctly and learn about something called envelopes. So you basically create a little airtight seal either internally or externally. And uh, yeah, how to achieve basically that airtight that if you've got a bunch of people in a room, you'll suffocate. So you have to put these MVHR systems in like a mechanical ventilation system. So yeah, there's loads to it. But yeah, I thought I'd just mention that. We're gonna be doing some content on that with Mike from uh, Port Smart Homes. So yeah, should be cool. Let's see what lads have been up to. Look at you, taking my driver's seat. Oh, I was gonna pull off. <laughs> oh, I am full, I am full. So back to the job then. I'm gonna get you guys chopping out a switch. So yeah, we've just got a few switches to chop in. I'm gonna get Ellis moving cable over, extend it up to a pendant. And there's loads of three cars to run between, so we're gonna have four gang switches both end. And she's uh, just, just, uh, just let us know. So that'll be cool.
All right then, so everything's sorted then. So we've cracked on then, let's come back from his lunch. So then we've got power in, ready for the ovens going in. So I'll nip in this top cupboard. So at the moment they're, they're left out hanging there. There's also some plinth light in then, so that's ready and taped together. So all that will happen is uh, the plinth will come from that switch. Um, it'll take a neutral and um, switch live down to there. Then it comes up over to here, up over to there. So the plinth for these three sections will come on. Then we've got the overcabs here. So again, it comes from there to there, there over to here. And that's the overcabs and undercabs. So that's the light sorted. We've got all the light on one switch. So we've rigged it up temporary for now. So the customer can see or anyone working a bit later. And then we've extended that uh, cable that did do the pendant. So the other down light, sorry. We've extended that down to here, so that'll switch on and off two. And then we've got those three three car nurse for us two-way switching, and we've got another three car, which is already in, which did some two-way in. So there we go, so we'll have four two-ways. So then, onto the island then. We've got some power for hogs. We've got power for sockets, island sockets, the little extractor, some plinth lighting. And that's about it. So that's everything sorted for the kitchen. So here we are, it's like, uh, what was it, top cap? Or oh, the little cat's out the window. <laughs> yeah, that's us all then. So hopefully this will end up looking like this, this beautiful kitchen. So hopefully with me on this one, we'll get to see the second fix and get it to see you all nice and nice. So, yeah, that's us done down here then. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. So as I've got for me and Brian and Ellis and Herbie and Oliver. <laughs> Everyone, apart from Aiden. Uh, apart from Aiden. I'll see you on the next one. Supposed to uh, reveal the. I had a big dot on my head. Do you remember? Oh yeah. And the last video, Adam guessing of what happened. So I had option of I got in a fight. Option two was I got a love bite. <laughs> Someone stuck it on my head. And option three was a child's tie. So for those who said option three, well done. <laughs> <laughs>